This is John Harlan speaking for Tattletales, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Let's all play What's My Line. And now, let's meet this week's What's My Line panel. First, that popular host of the match game, Gene Rayburn. Thank you. I'd like to present uh, what to many of you will be a new face on the entertainment uh, firmament. Uh, her star is going to shine very brightly. Here is Patty Deutsch. And on my left is the star of stage, screen, and anything from a World's Fair to a smoker, Mr. Alan Alda. <laughs> My left. If I'm a paper lion, I'd like to cut it up with a paper doll called Arlene Francis. <laughs> and now a gentleman, and you won't believe it, but he used to be Ruffles the Clown on television. <laughs> now nothing ruffles him, <laughs> Mr. Wally Bruna. <laughs> Arlene, where did that one come the from? The things not I have found out about you. Not only was I <laughs> Ruffles the Clown, I was the original Ruffles the Clown. And you had Chips the Dog. Who was a two, which was a 200-pound St. Bernard. But and a very he carried you on. To carry me on and <laughs> off and supply refreshments, you know, during the commercial <laughs> oh, breaks. Yes. But welcome to What's My Line. During the next 30 minutes, you're going to meet some interesting people engaged in occupations, which we hope will baffle our panel of experts. And then just a bit later on, the panel will face a mystery celebrity guest, which we ho hope will also stump them. But now, panel, are you all set? Yes, yep. sir. Oh, yeah. All right, let's meet our first challenger. Would you enter and sign in, please? James? Weena. And Mr. Weenan, how are you today? Very well, thank you. Right. Where are you from, sir? I'm from New York City. From New York City, all right. Let's let our audience know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, I'd like to tell you that Mr. Weenan is self-employed and deals in a product. And let's begin the questioning with Gene Rayborn. Self-employed and deals in a product, eh? Is this a product uh, that's used in the home? Yes. Can be. And uh, is it used uh, by both men and women? Uh, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, does it have anything to do with uh, making the person who uses it more attractive physically? Yes. Yes. And uh, is there a certain part of the body that it's used on exclusively? Yes. And is that above the waist? Yes, it is. Uh, is it above the shoulders? Yes, it is. Gene Rayburn. Well, yes. This is, go, please continue. I All right. Now, wait a minute. We got him above the waist and above the shoulders. Uh, is it above here? Yes, it is. All right. That leaves us that much, right? <laughs> is it, uh, does it have anything to do with the hair? Yes, it does. And uh, does it have, uh, let's see, is, is it's used by both men and women, huh? Is it, is it a dye of any kind, or it, does it have anything to do with changing the color no. of the hair? No, no, no. and that's one dye, and you were doing so well, Gene. Oh. And we go to Pat. Oh, <laughs> uh, I blew it, huh? Is, uh, 
Is it used by one sex more than the other? I, yes. Well, dear, I think it's already been established that it's something, it's something used, I think, by both men and women. So I do not want to lead you off on the wrong path here. I think that uh, it is used by both men and women, perhaps slightly more by one than the other, but uh, it's used by both. Uh huh. Does it uh, change the length of the hair? Yes, it does. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know what he does. You do? Yes, I do. Are you, uh, do you have something to do with the styling of the hair? No, I don't. No, oh. that's two down when we go to Alan. Is it, uh, it's changing the length of the hair. Uh, does it, uh, shorten the hair? It could. Could shorten the hair. Could it lengthen the hair? It could. It could. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> How do you want it? Long or short? <laughs> well, I got a haircut last week and my hair has been getting shorter since then. Uh, um, uh, Lengthen the hair and short. Now, do you, is it something which adds hair uh, or false hair of some kind or uh, could. gives you a yes. Could add it. Now, what we're talking about is a product which does this? That's right. Yes. One product which both lengthens and shortens hair. Which could lengthen could or lengthen which or could shorten, shorten or, hair. yes. I pass to Arlene. <laughs> Well, it's not hair itself, is it? I mean, that's not the product. Hair. It's not. Are you wigs. asking the? If, I beg your pardon. Pass, You're Arlene. Arlene. I know who he is. Pass. No, no, please. It's, I, I, uh, it's either. Well, it's either hair pieces or scissors. I don't know which it is. <laughs> try one. All right, I'll try hair pieces. Do you that's have anything it. to? Oh. All right. <laughs> you make hair pieces. Family Feud? Love Plinko? Hate the Whammy? Now you can play your favorite Buzzer games anytime. Just go to buzzertv.com and then select play. Have fun and let's play. Curious to find out what Gene really was. Mister, you're curious? To, Gene, did you have it? Well, no, I thought he was a guy that I read about recently who takes hair and, and matches your own hair coloring and then weaves it and ties knots in your own hair to make your own hair longer. Are you, do you do that? No, we don't do that. You don't do that? Well, I was process. wrong. A new, there's also, yeah, you know, a, a nude uh, hair process. Yeah, where you transplant. Yeah. And you several take it from of my the back friends. of the neck and put it in the bald spot. Right, right. This yeah, is not, well, that, no, that's not what we do. But uh, what, you, what he does, is make he, wigs. he designs wigs for both men and women. And you work for the Rainbow Hair Products. Rainbow Board. Hair Products of New York in the Empire State Building. And Are you uh, wearing one? No, I'm not. You're not. No, he is not wearing one. But you also make teeny bopper wigs for young men. And that's one of Rainbow's novelty lines. But one of the things that I was interested, I, he tells me, you know, because of the GIs in Vietnam, get the real close GI haircuts, you know, in case they're injured or wounded or something, it makes it much easier to dress a head, head wound. So when they go to town, now they're becoming your customers, they're buying wigs when they go to Saigon, you know, or Hong well, Kong or something. It's, it's, uh, it's one of the products that makes, uh, it gives them back their, uh, their nonconformity. You know, when they, the first thing they lose is their individuality, right? But you do, he has designed a rather unique wig, which is a stretch wig, and you right. have one... This is this is the new stretch wig uh, and this that is... we designed for Rainbow. It's a, uh, it has a special patented ventilated wefting that lasts the so lifetime. So you can keep a cool head. Right. For the, uh, <laughs> and, it's, and, and it fits all sizes, that's the beauty part, you know. Pinheads, right. blockheads. <laughs> Pinheads, any, any sort of all. But you, you know, I've often wondered what Gene and Alan would look like with a little different 
style of hairdo. Oh, put, put it do you, on. Do you think, like could, could you fix them up over there and let's see what we can do for them and how we can make them look. So why don't you show us? Well, oh, we, that looks great. Well, yeah. remember, uh, who was it Patty asked? I'm not a hairstylist. You're not a hairstylist? No, not a hairstylist. But it'll be interesting to see how this develops, so let's watch. <laughs> Like you are a brunette, How big is your head? aren't you? He has seven and eight. How big is your head? Six and seven eighths. You're going to be <laughs> <laughs> So there. Just put it on just for kicks. <laughs> Here we go. It's like a girdle. You can't tell the front from the back. <laughs> Alan, I, I, do blondes have more fun, really? <laughs> I haven't had any fun yet. Huh? <laughs> He's pulling my ear off. That's no fun. Gene! Listen, are, Gene, you, are you sure? Sweetheart! That, are you, <laughs> <laughs> contain yourself. Now, you touch me off screen. Listen, pal, are you sure the Three Stooges started this way? <laughs> you know, you look like Daniel Boone, Gene. Yeah. Here I am, the poor man's Ed Ames. <laughs> I'll tell you something, if Bill Friedlander finds out about this, I'll be having a job. Very, very nice. Huh? <laughs> okay, well, you, at least you see how they look. Fellas, leave them on for a little while, won't you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Wien, for being with us on What's My Line. And we'll be back to meet our next challenger when Watch My Line continues. Watching Big Wig Day because buzzers getting wiggy with it. 
All What Smile Island contestants receive these gifts. And Enchantress, that's the name of this exquisite set of Sarah Coventry jewelry, shimmering and sparkling with glowing imported Austrian rhinestones designed by Sarah Coventry. And a handsome men's gift set of Burley Cologne aftershave and talc. Burley, the rugged new aroma from the makers of Old Spice. And the World Book Encyclopedia two-volume dictionary containing 2,300 pages, 2,000 illustrations, and more than 190,000 entries. All right, our, our panel is wigged, dressed, and ready for the next challenger, I hope. Are you, panel? Yeah, I just uh, want to yeah. say to Alan, though, that his roots are getting a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Now, if our next challenger is ready, would you enter and sign in, please? Judith Gray. Where are you from, Judith? Mount Vernon, Illinois. Mount Vernon, for goodness sakes. I used to have a girlfriend. I, I have been to Mount Vernon, Illinois many times. Yeah. Oh, yes. Way down in southern Illinois. That's right. That's near Lawrenceville and Olney and That's all right. the little southern Illinois towns. I was born there. In Mount Vernon? Well, no, nearby, in Christopher, Illinois. In Christopher? Yeah, that's where I was born. Well, it's old home week on What's My Line. Now. <laughs> well, now that you're from Mount Vernon and we all know so much about the area, maybe her occupation won't stump it, so let's let the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right, panel, I'd like to tell you that Miss Gray is salaried and deals in the service, and let's begin the questioning with Arlene. <laughs> Alan just said she was a female impersonator. <laughs> a beautiful girl. Uh, it's a service, right? Yes, sir. Do you work for profit? Did you say self-employed? I'm sorry, Wally. Okay, let me repeat that for you. She is salaried and deals in a service. Do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Um, do you work indoors? Yes. Is your service one that I might use? You could. But uh, I think on what we are talking about, this is a service which you might use. I don't think this would really uh, be what we are trying to play for at this particular time. So I'm going to give you a no on that and make it one down and we go on to Gene. Well, if you get a no on that, is it something that, uh, not in my present condition, but would I use it then? Yes, you would. Positively, I would. yes. <laughs> If I take the wig off and ask the same question, do I get the same answer? That's right. You get the same answer. I do. And uh, d does it have anything to do with uh, uh, enhancing one's attractiveness? Yes, it does. Yes. Well, here we go again. That is it. And uh, do you come in physical contact with the person you're yes. performing this yes. service on? And uh, is the contact, does the contact occur above the waist? Yes. Above the shoulders? Yes. <laughs> Have you got a feeling you've heard this someplace before? <laughs> uh, above the neck? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. Are you a lady barber? Yes! yes! That was very good, Gene. Thank you. Judith is a lady barber at the Universal Barbershop here in New York City. Which barbershop? The Universal. Oh, yes. okay. Put me down for 4 o'clock Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> 4 o'clock. And uh, you've been cutting uh, styling men's hair for about three years? That's right. And you have some rather famous customers. Yes, who are I some do. Of them? Well, um, most of Of course, of the... other than Gene Rayburn, who has just added himself <laughs> to your list. Most of the male members of the Harkness Ballet, um, I have a great many uh, professional people, advertising people. Um, the one name that you would uh, immediately recognize would be uh, Anthony Perkins. He's my Oh, mom. he has his hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> and set. Well, and it's, set. Been, it's been a lot of fun having, having you with us on What's My Line. And uh, you didn't stump the panel, but you did very well. And uh, I think we'll all come down and get a trim yes, the next I'd like time. To have this, I'd like to have this back. <laughs> Judy is going <laughs> to take care of that as she leaves. All right, thank you so thank much you for being with us.
be back to meet our mystery guest when What's My Line continues. Now it's time for our mystery guest on What's My Line panel. Are the blindfolds in place? Yes, right sir. Now, yes. Okay, so mystery challenger, would you enter and sign in, please? As you have no doubt have heard, our mystery challenger has entered and is now seated beside me. And I'd, I'd like to remind you it's one question at a time. I'll give you three minutes to try and establish the identity of our mystery guest, and we'll begin the questioning with Arlene. Well, that was a wild reception. Are you a comedian? Well, well I, 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 I may. I think that answer would be yes. Gene. Um... Are you wearing something unusual now? Yeah, uh, yes, yes, I, I, I'm wearing my clothes. <laughs> but yes, I think we could, I think we will give you a yes to that. Patty? Uh, have you ever been on, in a show on Broadway? Uh, no, I, I, I haven't. Uh, uh, re 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 really? Alan, you work in the mountains a lot? <laughs> No, I, I don't work in the mountains at all. Arlene? 
Uh, are you a nightclub performer? Mm, yes, I, I, I work in nightclubs sometimes, some, some, some yes. Yeah. Yes. Gee. Are you, uh, hmm. Are you on Broadway now, or has that been established? Yes, I'm laying off on Broadway. <laughs> You're laying off. <laughs> Patty. Uh, are, you, are you currently appearing at a nightclub in town? Uh, no, I am not. I'm laying off in the current nightclub. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Clubs, uh, you have, would, um, would you have appeared um, on a television series of any kind? Uh, no, I'm laying off and appearing in a television <laughs> series. It's <laughs> <laughs> like you're somebody famous. <laughs> yes, I am, that's very true. <laughs> Do you have a stroke? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you have a stroke? <laughs> Yeah, your, your old bag. <laughs> oh, it's an insult comic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh, well, it uh, it's either He's Don big Rickles and or Jackie Leonard. Fat and That's tall. It. Uh, I am not Don Rickles. As a matter of fact, uh, Don Rickles and I are very good friends, and uh, man, he's been doing my act so long now, I may make a citizen's arrest. <laughs> well, and may I compliment you? You're just as pretty now as you were when you first went on the show in 1903. <laughs> <laughs> I want to the reason you remembered is you were a mystery guest. Yes, I was, darling. I remember that very well, and Benjamin Franklin signed in it that day. I remember that very well. <laughs> I'm not going to get who, in the middle of this you? one. Who, I, I, why, why you, who am I? Don't tell me he's the illegitimate son of John Daly. <laughs> well, well, why did you audition for this thing? I've got to say, I've been on this show many years. Where, where's it come from? What are you, a newspaper man? I hope you don't mind. No, no, I, I like it very much. It, it's a pleasure not to sit next to a clip-on bow tie. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. we've, we've given up the black tie thing. Well, you've done a wonderful job. I haven't seen a show yet. I hope it sells for everybody's sake. <laughs> and Jane, it's always good to see you and that lovely girl. I had the pleasure of working with her, literally, and, uh, and Alan, uh, uh, his father's a good friend of mine. Do you have something nice to say about it? Oh, why you? should I? I'm not changing my image for this show. <laughs> well, I, I understand, though, that your image was once something else. Yes, I used to work. Yes, I just I went on a diet. I kept my mouth shut for about seven months. And have a wonderful diet for those of you who want to go on a diet. Just eat 12 bowls of jello, lie in bed, and just shake the damn stuff off. <laughs> well, Jack, you, you, uh, By the way, every, I like, everyone is aware of I like, I like to, like to meet you. What is your name? The name is Brunner. Well, is it really? Well, I remember your father in the German army many That's years right. ago. Yeah, thanks, brother. <laughs> But, Jack, you know, you do have other talents. You're a great yes, comedian. But you used to be, and still do, I assume, well, dance. Aren't you a dancer? Well, yes, I, I do all of that stuff because in my field, you have to do everything. You just can't sit down. <laughs> like most of us. No, no, like I'm only kidding about Arlene. I know you're, incidentally, I just played your hometown of Boston. Paul Revere sends his regards, as usual. <laughs> Oh. She's adorable. I've, always, I've been in love with her. She's been my secret love for a long time, but she's married to a very poor Vic Tanny. <laughs> well, she's known as a sweetheart of What's My Line. She Jackie, certainly is a sweetheart, and I like to know her line. I have to tell you, I, I hope you find a job soon. Thank you, and congratulations and on me. I hope your audition keeps on at Wagos. You, well, I hope that your work in the future will be a lot better than it was here this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> What's My Line will continue right after this word.
Gene, you make a great cue down here. You're a great count. <laughs> Have you ever thought of going to Cape Canaveral? You know, 10, Well, that's a job I could do, yeah. yeah. Push the button before they're ready. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun week on What's My Line. We've had a lot of interesting things. The bank robber, I think, was really a... High point, yeah. A high point. One of the best spots ever on the show. And we had the hottest little exotic dancer you've ever seen, you know, that works with the fire. I like that. And uh, the wigs, you both wore wigs and did quite well. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I think I prefer your appearances as they are, though. I'm going to wear that wig and learn how to swallow the fire at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the mini wedding gown? What do you think? What do you think? You're a new bride, uh, uh, Patty. What, what did you think of the mini wedding gown? I thought it was kind of cute. Patty was crying when the bride came out. Arlene, I, you think it's I think many mini wedding gowns are for short marriages. <laughs> or for short marriages. <laughs> or at least young ones. Well, it's been a lot of fun having you all here this week on What's My Line. We've had a good time, and I know we'll see you all again real soon. And you be sure and watch next week on What's My Line. What's My Line? It's a Montford Sunville Top Introduction. It's Francis Gowns by Bonnet Teller. This is Johnny Olson speaking.